So vitiligo is an autoimmune condition where the skin cells are attacked by the immune system and the pigment, the melanocytes are destroyed. And due to the destruction of the pigment cells, the patient loses their coloration. Vitiligo is seen in one to 2% of all populations. In darker skinned people like me from India, from Africa, it can be you know, very devastating, but it also is very devastating to people who are Caucasian. So the thing about vitiligo is that the, it is treatable. It, there are really so many modalities in 2020, 21 that we can use to treat it. And most of the time people are not aware that it's treatable. So topically, we use topical steroids and topical calcineurin inhibitors. Those medications help reduce the inflammation surrounding the melanocytes so that the pigment cells can make pigment again. Orally, there are pills such as steroids and other anti-inflammatories that reduce inflammation as well, but are more systemic and have more side effects, so we don't love to use those. One of the best treatments for vitiligo is something called light therapy and eczema laser. Light therapy and eczema laser use a targeted beam of light that reduces inflammation around the pigment cells and stimulates those melanocytes to make more pigment. It is a really underutilized treatment for vitiligo and it really does help bring back the pigment. And optimally, it actually brings back the pigment in facial areas first because the facial areas have more hair follicles that harbor those stem cells. Another relatively new treatment option that has not even been FDA approved yet, but is being used off-label are something called JAK inhibitors, J-A-K. JAK inhibitors were first utilized for rheumatoid arthritis, but we noticed that people who took those medications, they got all of their pigment back.